Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about the Survival Hunter once more because there's been a pretty significant change that has happened since my rework video and my first impressions of the class. Um, I really do think that Survival Hunter is shaping up to be one of like the best melee classes in, in Battle for Azeroth. Um, so I'm just going to go over the change that had happened recently uh, and kind of like the separation of two offensive cooldowns or one offensive cooldown into two. I'm going to talk about that. Then I'm going to talk about kind of like what I foresee the survival hunter being and more of a PVP aspect because I can see the survival hunter being one of the best classes just based on this, this design. Obviously, it's still alpha. Obviously, things can still change and things have already changed in such a dramatic fashion for Survival Hunter that things obviously are not final, okay? And I'll be talking about that as the beta progresses, but I thought it'd be great to keep you guys up to date with Survival just like I talked about. And I am playing a spec that is like extremely mobile. And if you guys aren't familiar with Survival Hunter, you actually can be like a hybrid ranged. It's like sometimes you're melee and then sometimes you're a ranged class. And there's really a lot you can do with this, especially since you have a pet that can keep up with targets so often. Um, this is the spec that I'm playing. I'm actually playing with post haste, which gives me 50% movement speed for four seconds when I disengage. Um, I'm actually playing intimidation, which is brand new to survival. And then I'm playing birds of prey. Okay, so let me explain the two offensive cooldowns that were separated or the first the offensive cooldown that was separated into two. Okay. So Aspect of the Eagle um, now only gives your range on your Mongoose Bite increased to 40 yards. If you guys don't know, if you haven't watched my rework video for Survival, um, so you can see that Kill Command is a 50-yard range ability, okay? Serpent Sting, 40-yard range. Wildfire Bomb, 40-yard range. And, I mean, like, even Harpoon, you know, 30-yard range. All of your abilities are at a very long range, Okay except for mongoose bite but the thing is with aspect of the eagle every 1.5 minutes you increase the range of your last only melee ability to 40 yards that makes you an entirely range class for 15 seconds um they've added in a new ability and kind of split aspect of the eagle into coordinated assault uh, which is kind of like bestial wrath in a way you and your pet attack as one increasing all damage you both deal by 20 percent for 20 seconds while coordinated assault is active kill commands chance to reset is increased by 30 percent which is huge um the reason why this is huge is because your entire spec is revolved around building focus and spending focus and being able to spend focus on your mongoose bite so wildfire bomb only costs 10 focus serpent sting only costs 15 mongoose bite is where you're going to spend the majority of your focus um and the more mongoose bites you do in a 14 second window the more damage you do okay so mongoose bites a very expensive um ability and when kill command has a 30 percent chance baseline to actually reset and give you 20 percent focus um that chance is increased to 60 percent whenever you have coordinated assault active which means that you're actually able to use more ranged abilities you don't have to be in melee range you can build more fury and that in combination with aspect of the eagle means you're a range class that's dealing an insane amount of damage from 40 yards away um and you have a ton of you know uh, focus to be able to build up and over and over and over again have 20 percent increased damage and i think that this design uh really really is crazy um so as you can see like i have aspect of the eagle available and i have coordinated assault available so i'm just gonna like run into a bunch of mobs and show you guys just how much like damage you can do and how you can play as a range class in general okay so i'm gonna have a bunch of aoe damage going out put serpent sting up on everything Use aspect of the cheetah, cheetah. Use my monk, all my offensive cooldowns, and you can see I'm an offensive class or I'm in a range class right now. I can keep disengage up. Use my kill command when I run out of focus. Keep kiting, keep kiting, keep using my mongoose bite. Um, I can stun people. You know, if I want to use intimidation, I can actually stun them. Keep my dots up. Keep my AOE damage up. Continue kiting. Um, I'm gonna have again my uh, my disengage going again, and I really don't ever have to be in range to do damage. And since my offensive cooldown has fallen, my Aspect of the Eagle, which is a pretty short cooldown, I can't really do anything about that, but I can continue using my other abilities, and I still never really have to be in range, to, even though I'm a melee class. Um, I think that this opens so many opportunities up for this class. Uh, you can basically play in this melee range whenever you don't have cooldowns, and that's not really a big deal if you if you want to be, continue your Mongoose fighting, right? But the thing is, is like when you are being kited in PvP, Say there's a frost mage and he uses his blinks to get away from you. Um, you know, use your harpoon to get to him after that first blink, and then he uses his second blink. 
Uh, you can basically use Aspect of the Eagle and your Coordinated Assault. He won't have any blinks. You can hit him with an Intimidation if you want to. Um, you can keep him wing clipped and keep him slowed. You can be at 40 yard range and use all of your abilities. And there's nothing that player can do to get away from you during that long amount of time. And what's really cool about the Birds of Prey talent is while you have your 40% or your 40 yard Mongoose fight, you can actually use Bird of Prey on top of that and increase the duration of your coordinated assault by, you know, six or seven seconds. That makes it so that you have like a 25 to 27 second, 20% increased damage. And also uh, your co-command will reset and that's a ranged ability and it does a lot of damage um, even if you have flanking strike uh, available to you. Like there's just so much that you can do guys with this class. And I, I'm seeing it shape up and I want to keep you guys updated because I want to, I want you guys to know that like you should really consider looking into the survival class if you're playing Battle for Azeroth beta. Um, take your time, look at it. I think it's a really cool spec. I think it's really worthwhile. Uh, and I think that they've they've really changed the spec for the better. And I, I look forward to basically watching them continue to change this spec and continue to see this spec evolve and be better because I always wanted the melee hunter to, to like really work out, um, but I never really did see it work out too well in, in Legion. Like not many people really wanted to play it. And now we're in a position where like they do want to play it and i think that that's cool and that's why i want to share this with you guys so thank you very much for watching just a quick video updating you on what the changes were on the alpha and also show you the potential of this class if you enjoyed my video be sure to hit a big thumbs up and like this video i really appreciate it leave a comment down below with what you think of the survival rework and the changes that have happened and you can also subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't yet already so that you can keep up to date with all the battle for azeroth stuff be sure to hit that notification bell too if you don't want to miss any battle for azeroth stuff as well thank you guys Thanks for watching and I'll see you.